My name is Buffy the Blowfish. I do not appreciate foul language or pictures of rude things at all. Please, if you are easily offended by rude things, do not watch this video. Turn it off now. Now, turn it off. Don't look at it. You don't want to learn bad words. I don't want to hear your comments about that was rude. I didn't like that when Ronnie said bad words. Turn it off. Hi there, this is my friend Bobby the Blowfish. Maybe his name's not Bobby, I don't remember. <clears throat> but what I will tell you, Bobby cannot tolerate obscenities, naughty words, and bad words. So Bobby, you can just go and fuck off right now. Okay, so today we're talking about sex. Who likes the sex? In English, we have a lot of different words for sex. The doctor word, or the word that my mother first taught me, is intercourse. If you ever have to go to the doctor, maybe you are worried that you're pregnant, or you're happy that you're pregnant, or you're doing tests, the doctor or the nurse will say, now, when was the last time you had intercourse? What they mean is, when's the last time you fucked? They want to know the exact time. Why do they want to know? Did they want to take videos of it? That's weird. So, we have verbs in English. Don't get me wrong. You're learning vocabulary. You're also going to learn grammar. Sex with Ronnie. That's me. This is your lesson. Fuck. Screw. Ram. Pork. Bang! All of these words mean sex. These are verbs. You can use them in the past or the present. So, I fucked last night. I screwed last weekend. I rammed yesterday. Pork. I know you think it's a food. Guess what? It means sex. And bang. One of my favorite. Also, nail. Not this nail. This nail. We also have stick it in. All of these words. Verbs for sex. Intercourse. What I've done, because I'm really, really nice, is I've broken it down into three different categories. Oral sex. What does oral mean? Oral means you use your mouth. Anal sex. Anal means you use your anus. Now you're confused. What is an anus, Ronnie? <clears throat> I tried to draw a picture of a bum, an anus. It didn't work. It looks more like a cock. So anal is the part of your rear end where your poo comes out. So people like to put things in their anus. This is called anal sex. And then we have, for all the lonely people, masturbation. Masturbation means you don't have a partner, you're doing it yourself. Let's go through these first. Jerk off, wank, have a wank, Wanking, beat off, jack off. I remember a long time ago, there was a, a really kind of terrible pop punk band called Blink-182, and they came up with a really good album title. It said, take off your pants and jack it. Oh, <gasps> so funny. But you maybe were like, Take off your pants and jacket. That's funny. Pants and jacket. No, no, no. Guess what? Hello, people. This means take off your pants and have a wank. Now that album's funny. Stroke. Stroke is the movement of moving. Rub one out. You'll hear these in movies all the time. I'm going to rub one out. To rub one out. So you think maybe, maybe, maybe they're thinking innocently about a blackboard eraser? That they're gonna erase something? No, 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 no. 
They're going to masturbate. Okay? They're going to take their penis, stroke it, rub it. Rub it up, man. For the ladies. Ladies masturbate? What? Hell yeah. We say flick the bean. We are living in a society where, <clears throat> unfortunately, men make up a lot of the uh, slang. So it, I struggled to find words for female masturbation. Ladies, I apologize. If you have um, a favorite term for masturbation, please let me know. I'm very interested in how you say masturbation for women. Uh, leave it in the comment section, please. If you are successful in your masturbation, the very, very first step that you need is you need to achieve a hard-on. A boner or a stiffy. This means your cock is hard and ready for action. Like this guy here. We also have this gentleman over here. He has a boner. She is ready for action. Now what might happen, ladies and gentlemen, is if you jerk off, wank off, beat off, jack off, stroke, rub one out, or flick the bean a lot, but not too much. Some liquid might come out. <gasps> this is called jizz. Jizz. Cum. Cum is probably the most um, regular or normal word that we use for cum. So it's hilarious when you see posters on the subway that says, Cum on the TTC. What? When did you come to my house? When did you come on the train? I didn't come on the train. Come means jizz. Splooge. Jism. These words mean the liquid, the semen, doctor word, for <clears throat> what comes out of the penis. The, the, uh, uh, the proper word is semen. Which is funny because it's like they're swimming. Never mind. All right. Next, we have the good old anal sex. Good old anal sex. I've told you that anal sex means you put something in your anus. Very important word to learn as well when you're learning words. Anus. Ass fuck is a word that we would use for anal sex. Rim job. Now, rim job is not actually sticking something in your anus. Rim job is different. <clears throat> rim job is when you use your tongue and you lick the anus. So you're actually licking someone's butthole. Um, apparently, this is wonderful. If you read magazines, um, even regular innocent magazines, we have a magazine in Toronto called Now Magazine. And in the back, they have pictures of beautiful ladies ready to give you a massage. They will tell you that at their massage parlor, Greek is okay. That doesn't mean that if you are Greek, you can come here. Anyone can come there, ha ha ha, if you pay them enough money. Greek is secret code word slang for da 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 da. Anal sex. So, Greek means anal sex. Oh, good old felching. What does it mean? This is the noise, but what does it mean? <clears throat> felching is a curious thing. It's a verb. Um, felching means that one person will jizz, jism, come, or splooge into another person's anus. That's, yeah, okay, that, that's cool, that's normal. But what happens with the felching is that another person, maybe this gentleman here or lady, will then lick the jizz, the cum or the splooge, out of the anus. So this noise is the licking of the cum out of the anus. I've heard that in some countries, Australia, they use a straw. So the next time you go to Burger King, 
or a fast food restaurant, grab a straw. See if people look at you and go, oh, Felcher. <clears throat> what do you do? Are you felching with that straw? No, it's for my cola. Sure it is. Mm -hmm. Felching. You need a hard on if you're going to felch after. Going back to the beginning, we have oral sex. Now I told you oral sex, you use your mouth and your tongue or, you know, your cheek, whatever you want. Um, we have a lot of words for the male um, oral sex. BJ or blowjob. <gasps> Who's drawn this? This is a picture of a blowjob. Now, the very funny thing is that a lot of people's names are, you guessed it, BJ. And you will see stores that have BJ's Wholesale or BJ's Fine Foods. Dying. So if I'm innocently walking down the street and says, welcome to BJ's Wholesale. <laughs> that means blowjob. That's hilarious. Come on in to BJ's. Handjob. Now, handjob is not oral sex. Guess what? It's using your hand. It's similar to a blowjob, except there's no mouth involved. You're just stroking with your hand. This hand job is done by a different person. If you are doing it to yourself, you are having a wank. If someone else is doing if someone is so nice enough to do it to you, you're actually having a hand job. All right, and the next one is a pearl necklace. Ladies, do you like pearl necklaces? Do you think they're beautiful? Would you be so happy if your husband or your boyfriend or your lover gave you a pearl necklace for your birthday? Guess what? What you think about is a pearl necklace and what Ronnie thinks is about a pearl necklace. You'd be misguided, ladies. A pearl necklace is when a man is nice enough <clears throat> to come on your neck. Come is white, and if he's talented enough, he can put it like beads of cum along your neck. It, maybe, looks like a pearl necklace. It is hilarious if I go somewhere and ladies are shopping for a pearl necklace. So they say, would you like to look at my pearl necklaces? This one is beautiful. It's only $500. Meanwhile, I'm dying in the corner because they're talking about jade on your neck. What's happening? My mother loves pearl necklaces. I bought my mother a pearl necklace for her birthday. I bought it at the store. But I'm sure that ladies would love a pearl necklace. Maybe the real kind, maybe not the real kind. Guys love giving ladies a pearl necklace for their birthday. Gentlemen, do your wife, do your wife, what? Ronnie, do you know that doing your wife means having sex with your wife? You can do something. Do the dog, what? Do the dogs a dance it's by a band called The Specials. If you do something, it means you have sex with it. So. You did the mailman. That means you had sex with the mailman. Mailman. You might want to give that lovely lady a pearl necklace in your next delivery. Next word, <clears throat> meaning oral sex, is a Hummer. Is that funny? Because Hummer's the name of a car or an, a big, huge, massive vehicle that they use in the army. So it's funny when you're walking down the street and people are like, look, it's a Hummer. What? Someone's giving someone a blowjob on the street? What's happened to this society? Hummer, blowjob. The reason why it's a Hummer hmm, is because who's ever giving the Hummer, they like to sing. Hmm. So you can sing la 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 opera if you'd like while giving some oral sex. Head. Hmm, head. I think maybe I have said head in lessons before and I kind of giggle. Hee -hee. Oh, I said head. Why does Ronnie giggle when we say head? She says head. That's very strange. 
Why does Rani always say about the other head or two heads? What's wrong with Rani? Well, guess what? I laugh because head means blowjob. Head means oral sex. So if someone says, I'd like to give you head. What? I have a head already. Thank you. You say, thank you. Head means blowjob. All of these words have not included the female yet. <sighs> Ladies, gentlemen, this is for you. When we talk about female oral sex, it has a lot to do with eating. We say eat out. So, <clears throat> sometimes when I'm teaching, my textbook says, please ask a student, when was the last time you ate out? I can't do it. I'm like, mm. did, did you go to a restaurant? Because eat out or ate out in the past tense means female oral sex. Females, we have a vagina or also known as a pussy or a beaver. If you're unsure about the slang body parts in English, please, 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 ingvid.com, type in slang body parts. You'll learn all these crazy words like pussy. Eat out means eat pussy or lick pussy or eat the vagina. You're not actually consuming it. You're not, please don't swallow the vagina. You would have no vagina left. It means you're licking with your tongue. <laughs> okay, eating, you're just, it's more like a munching, okay? So when people say, I'm going to eat out. Why are you telling me that? That's disgusting. I don't need to know that at lunchtime you're going to eat out. Oh, you mean in a restaurant? Yeah, good, 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 good. Have a good meal, okay? Eat out means female oral sex. Eat pussy, same. Lick pussy, same. Muff. Okay, what is a muff? You think maybe it's a muffin? Maybe, maybe. Ooh, what's this? Muff represents, if they have it, the women's pubic hair. So what happens is we have a muff diver. Why are people diving? Diver represents or means that someone is going down. They're diving into the muff. Meow, 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 meow. So, muff dive is a verb. If you want to talk about a noun, it would be a muff diver. I have seen t-shirts that say, I'm a muff diver. I bet you maybe a couple of you have seen that t-shirt or even bought the t-shirt and thought, that's a cool t-shirt. I'm going to wear that. Guess what? It means that you have oral sex with females. Recently in the news, there was a man. He said that he got mouth cancer because he licked pussy. I think he's a liar. The proper word for female oral sex is cunnilingus. Cunnilingus. It sounds dirty. Ew. Munch the carpet. Again, we get the analogy of the hair or the furry bits. Munch means eat. For some reason, um, when we talk about oral sex with women, it has a lot to do with eating or licking. Maybe because men are always hungry. I don't know. Just, I'm hungry. Well, here, just munch my carpet, buddy. That'd be nice. Okay. One thing that we have to be very, very careful about is that you use proper grammar. After all, I am a grammar teacher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the very important noun, verb, adjectives of these words. It's all fun and games to talk about blow jobs and rim jobs and felching, but the grammar is important as well. I would not like you to use these in a wrong sentence or use them wrongly in a sentence. I can't even talk anymore. Do you have a boner? <laughs> so this second part of the lesson is called sexy grammar. Um, as I told you before, fuck, screw, ram, bang, nail is a verb. So as an example, I fucked Jennifer. This 
fucked is a verb. So you're going to have your subject, and then the verb, and then the person that you fucked. James nailed me. Again, nailed and fucked, past tense, is a verb. Give me a blowjob! Men would only say this. Women, we'd say, eat me out. Blowjob is a noun. So you're going to use the verb give me. Gentlemen, it's a good idea to say please. please and smile. Okay? Um, ladies, if you want to tell your man or your woman what to do, you can say, um, as a command, eat me out. Eat me out. This is a command. In English grammar, we call it an imperative command or imperative sentence. These are things like stop or wait, usually very short words. Eat me out is a command. <clears throat> this one might you might use if your friend has gotten out of jail recently or if your friend and his boyfriend or girlfriend might have been doing something strange in their bedroom last night and you say, oh, did you get fucked in the ass? Practice. Did you get fucked in the ass? Your friend might not tell you. You might smell something, though. No? <clears throat> Gentlemen, when you feel something in your pants moving around that's not a trouser snake, you can say, I got a boner. Woo! Boner is a noun. So you can say, I got a boner, I have a boner. Or maybe you want to use the future tense, I'm going to get a boner, or I will get a boner. You can use past, present, or future with the word boner as well. Um, these two sentences I've put into the past continuous. Usually we use past continuous when you're telling a story. He was jerking off. He was wanking. Funnily enough, I have a story about this. About three weeks ago, Ronnie was innocently walking down the street in Jamaica, Mon. Hello. And I happened to look over and see the beautiful ocean view of Montego Bay. As my eyes scanned the beautiful view, I also saw a man in a group of trees. And I thought, that man is standing up. That man? That guy's having a wank! What? Hey, hey, look, dude, this guy's having a wank. This guy is having a fucking wank in there. This guy, welcome to Jamaica, man. Oh, sorry, like more longer like this. Yes, it's true. Welcome to Jamaica. He didn't say this, but he was so happy and he was waving. Hi. Turns out this man's name is Victor. So Victor from Montego Bay, thank you for letting everyone see you wank. Now I have a story to tell everyone. I was walking down the street and Victor was wanking. Victor, you've got mental problems. But hey, enjoy your life. Not everyone wants to watch you wank, but you can do what you do. If you have questions about the grammar of these or the vocabulary of this, or if you need extra vocabulary, please write me a comment. I will get back to you. Bring it on back. Bye-bye.